Okay, good morning. I think it's 7.05 at the minute. Neither of the girls have to go anywhere today. We, at the moment, don't have to go anywhere at all. <sighs> Welcome to my video. Welcome to the bad. Welcome to the bad lighting and the bad quality because it's all fun. Jamie's just gone to work. get up and make myself a cup of tea before Maisie gets up. I need some biscuits before Maisie sells them. <laughs> um, but today I am planning on, so this year I'm not buying cards for people. I'm going to do personalised cards. So I'm thinking of doing that today. That's the plan, but we'll see what happens. So this is my normal routine at the minute. As I get up in the morning, I... So I think this is what this video is probably going to be, like a day in the life. But in the morning I get up, I go to the toilet, put the kettle on, obviously grab a cup of tea. And then I come in, instead of putting the light on, I just put the Christmas tree light on. And I just think, like, just, doesn't that look so pretty? Um, so, yeah, the kettle's boiled. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea, have some biscuits. I think Maisie's going to be awake very soon. Um, I've got Jamie's snug on. I've got a pair of jogging bottoms on. I'm going to go put my slipper socks on, I think. And then I'm going to show you, like, two things i bought for maisie yesterday um some of you might sit there and be like you've got two kids yes but the two things i bought one of them's an educational thing and one of them's to encourage things like toilet training to in, like to try and get to have some good behaviors and things like that but i will show you guys in a bit what that was but i went out to lakeside yesterday so it has been I have no money. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna have a deal with the awkward lighting. But this is what I got from Lakeside. So Hadley got this cute little Primark set. So you've got the jumper with the matching like jogging bottoms. These were eight pound. I'm sorry, but I think that's gonna be love. And it's the next size as well, because Hadley is such a long baby. Um, she's actually on the 98th centile for length. So I got this little tracksuit. And then, because I'm one of those mums at the minute, Maisie also has one. Obviously, Maisie's is in two to three years. Hadley's is in six to nine months, because Hadley is going up to that age very soon. It's mad to think Hadley is going to be six months in literally like three weeks and four days because her six month birthday is on christmas eve oh, i'm so excited honestly but yes so her um tracksuit as well and then if i show you Maisie's gift first so the jumbo what are they, jumbo number cards so Maisie is starting to be very into learning i mean on the back of it it says about add subtract count and play dominoes but i like the fact that it's like number seven is rockets so maybe it could be like seven rockets and then we'll count them together or like the number four is like four strawberries you get 24 butterflies and i feel like that's going to be a very good way of helping Maisie with her numbers i just thought it's really educational and yeah that was another thing I got for Christmas for her. And then Maisie's attitude has definitely been a challenge recently. Um, we want to start encouraging potty training because she comes up to us and she goes wee wee or poo poo. And you'll be like, oh, have you done one? And she's like, yeah. And then when you look, she's got a wet nappy or she's got a soiled nappy kind of thing. So I bought this. It's a wipe off reward chart. Um, 
if you look like you've got like the stickers and things like that um and that's kind of how it would go so on this one it says like brush my teeth be nice to my sister and eat my dinner and i just feel like something like that like let me just open it for you guys so you get this this is going to be used from like immediate effect um but i just think it's a good idea to start trying to have things like that so yeah that's the broad and it hangs look how cute that is so yeah i will write like so at the top it says this child belongs to and obviously it would be like Maisie. obviously you've got like the stickers so the ideas it kind of comes up with is like brush my teeth eat my dinner tidy my room be helpful make my bed be kind and play nice or play nicely should i say and then you obviously have the whiteboard pen so today i say today it's wednesday today so let's do this chart belongs to amazing so task why don't we do i'm not even going to use these stickers like the play nicely ones or the be kind ones i think i will write it down myself so let's do play nicely we'll do be kind we'll do be helpful I'm going to put down use the potty, but I don't think she'll do that. She does sit on the potty, but at the minute it seems to be she's really... She's used the potty before. She's done a poo and a wee on the potty before. Um, but I don't know. At the minute, she's associating her nappy so much with going to the toilet. If anyone does have any like potty training tips, so please, please let me know. I work in a nursery and I need help with potty training. Like, please help me but yeah i think when it's your own child it's a bit harder <laughs> um so let's say use potty tidy toys okay so this is what i've done so this is Maisie's, as you see, I put my reward chart, uh, this chart belongs to Maisie. So yeah, I've done play nicely, be kind, be helpful, use potty, tidy toys. I just think something like this, it's going to be such a good idea. Obviously, we have got, like, the stars, and we will use that. But I think I'll have to get loads more stickers. But yeah, this is the idea of what I'm going with. I think it's going to be a good idea. Um, I didn't even realise that topic says about a goal. I'm not obviously going to do a goal, but I think that when we have a bit more of a routine with her, with this kind of thing, then I'll start using a goal. But, yeah, and no, I'm very excited. Oh, okay. Another thing I didn't even realise. So the last thing, like, at the end, it says reward. So at the end of the week, what would the reward be? Obviously, I don't know what I would do yet. I'll figure it out along the way. But let's, yeah, let's just go with the flow. But I'll go check see if Maisie's awake and I will, uh, yeah, hopefully get this ball rolling. Good morning. You had a nice sleep. Did you have a nice sleep? Should we get you up? Should we get you up and playing? We can get you some breakfast. Are you teething, baby? This is away. Mommy. Good morning. 
Chick Chick's in the living room. Who's this? Who's that? Should we get you up? You're gonna stay in bed. Do you see Woof Woof? Don't even know if Woof Woof's outside. No, Woof Woof's not out there anymore. Good morning. You need a haircut. So I don't want people to think that I am having a moan. I am tied in at the same time, by the way. Um, just sorting out the kitchen. But do you, sometimes as a parent, as a mum, or even like a dad or whatever, you spend all day at home, whether it's with one kid, two kids, three kids, four kids, being pregnant. And sometimes you're like, or well, being pregnant with a kid. And sometimes you just feel like, leave me alone. So Maisie has got to an age now where she's just becoming very, very challenging. She's become very, very clingy. Um, I know I kind of mentioned this earlier um, about obviously the reward charts, but Maisie has kind of got to this stage where if she doesn't get her own way, she starts trying to hit or she'll throw stuff or she throws herself on the floor and lay down and I know a couple girls from my work will probably watch this and be like, yep, yeah, we've dealt with that because uh, that's just the way Maisie is at the minute and I'm really, really struggling with what to do with her in the sense of I don't know what's the best way to try and I know it's terrible too, so I know she's bound to go through it kind of thing, but obviously at the same time, it's a lot. I really struggle with Maisie because she doesn't listen to me. She listens to her dad. Um, I feel like Jamie's just got such more of a like stern voice. Whereas because I'm with Maisie a lot more as well, she's like, oh, mum's moaning again. You know, that's how I feel sometimes. Um, like just now, Maisie um, was throwing a tantrum because... She didn't want her nappy on, so I took her nappy off. And then she threw a tantrum because she wanted her nappy on. And then she threw another tantrum because I put her nappy on. Um, and then she started throwing a tantrum and wanting to watch Pepper. And then as soon as I went to put Pepper on, she started going turtle because she's into a film at the minute called, I think it's called Leo on Netflix. It's about a lizard and in, in the film there's a turtle as well. But Maisie's just obsessed with it at the minute. So she's currently sat on the sofa watching that. But I feel like her tantrums always be build up to the bigger picture, meaning she just simply wanted to sit down and watch a film. Or, you know, she, you know, just, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Though? Like, I, I just wish, I know, I know it's going to get easier if she <laughs> behaviour-wise, but sometimes I just feel like I am stuck with what to do. I love Maisie. She's my, well, obviously she's my firstborn baby and you get the gist with what I'm, where I'm going with that. But she's my firstborn baby and I am struggling with what to do with her. Like poor Hadley, you know, earlier I've got her in like a sit me up uh, thing at the minute. I think I could hear her playing with the rattle actually. Um, but she'll be in there and Maisie will come over and just like snatch the toys or she'll go over and get it all, all up in Hadley's face. And I know, she loves Hadley to pieces. I know she would never like maliciously go for Hadley, but I think she just forgets her size to Hadley. And I really feel like I am rambling at this point. But I just feel like I like, I want to have a break in the sense of... I'd like to be able to go away for a night. Even if it's just me and Jamie or me and the girls. And just go on a night away somewhere where I don't have the kids. And I can be Kelly and not Kelly who is a mum or two. And enjoy myself and be happy. And yeah, you know, I'm just... Yeah, I'm definitely rambling at this point. But <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say. But... Any parents out there with a two-year-old-ish around that age, like around two-year-old and a baby, and notice their two-year-old's tantrums have got 
kind of worse and how have you kind of managed it and that's I think that's what I'm trying to ask is how do other people deal with it because I am really really struggling with Maisie's tantrums especially the hitting the biting and especially as a lot of the time the hitting and the biting is towards me not towards Jamie the biting doesn't happen with Hadley anymore she used to try and bite Hadley all the time when she was a newborn Whereas now she she doesn't even intentionally go to hit Hadley either, I don't think. Because um, she gets upset when she does hurt Hadley and she gives her a cuddle and a kiss. And yeah, but yeah, how do you guys manage uh, what has worked for you or what are you trying out? Because any advice right now would be great. So Hadley is currently napping. She's literally in that room, like not there, that's the bathroom, but there. Um, yeah, she's currently napping. Hopefully she has a decent nap. She's been asleep for just over half an hour at the minute, which is really, really good for Hadley considering because she never sleeps. Um, but I'm just going to make myself a very late breakfast, early dinner, uh, early dinner, early, early lunch. Because um, I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten yet. Um, but I think what, if Maisie has a nap today, which I don't know if she will, I might keep her awake. I'm going to do some Christmas cards with her for um, my mum and stepdad, my nan and granddad, Jamie's mum, Jamie's nan and Paul. Um, so I've got a couple cards to do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make myself a sandwich, I think. Like an egg sandwich sounds good actually right about now um but yeah now i'm gonna make some food and then Maisie's watching toy story she's been okay the attitudes have got really really bad i had to have five minutes to myself i just shut myself away for five minutes just so i could have a breather i do find it hard being a parent but i just I find it so rewarding. I love it at the same time. So, Maisie and I are about to ignore the chocolate around my child's face. But Maisie and I, Maisie and I are about to make Christmas yeah. cards. Aren't we? Yeah. What, you want that colour? Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to make Christmas cards for some of the family. Don't know what we're going to do yet. Are we going to do hand prints by any chance? Yeah, okay, okay. What colour do you want? It's red. You want red? What point at me? What point? Blue. That's red. You want the red one? Blue. Blue. Red one. Right. Blue. There is a lot. I got this from B and Wow, look at this. Ready? Put some in here. So the idea with some cards, so like the one I think that's about to be done, is Maisie will have her handprint on it, and when it dries, we'll choose a different colour and do Hadley's handprint on the top. I think that's going to be our go-to. Get this ready, shall we? I know! Hadley's just going to jump through. Yeah, leave it alone. No, no, no. It's red. What? Red. 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 Right, that's fine. Mm, we'll do that one. Oh, no, 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 no
very, very unhappy, didn't she, Maisie? Um, so then I ended up doing an hour contact nap just so she had some sort of sleep. Oh, you okay? Yeah, that make you jump. Right. Ready? But, wow, look at your hand. Look how cute her hand print looks. Thank you, but wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. Do you want to mess around with some card? Let, yeah, okay, let me, um, let me dry your hand. Ew. Huh? What? Huh? She's trying to say penguin here. Oh, amazing. Hadley, you're having a time of your life. But yeah, so the plan is, with that one, is I'll let that handprint dry now. And then I will do like merry, merry above it, Christmas underneath it. Won't we? And then we will... Okay. Stacey Hadley over here. Who are you looking for? Yeah, okay, do you want to do some painting on some plain card? Ready? There you go. Ready? You just go. There you go. Do you use that one? Oh, thank you so much. Last time I tried getting Maisie to do something like this, um, I was like, you dab it, and then she just got her hand started painting all over her hand. It was so funny. Wow, that's so beautiful. Who are you making that for? Are you making it for Daddy? I think in a minute I'm going to have a look online what other designs I can kind of do. Because I was thinking as well, I could do... So obviously we've got this one. I'm thinking of doing one so it's like that and then doing... Is it like a Rudolph one, I think it is? Um, but yeah, so that's one at the minute. Um, I'll write Merry Christmas above it in a minute. Um, and then we've got pens as well, so I'll just go over it. We've got pencil somewhere to go over. Um, yeah, no idea where I'll put them. You having fun? Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do the Merry Christmas on this. Oh, I think Hadley's going to the toilet. I honestly just had, I'm sitting on them, that's why. So yeah, basically everything, everything that we are using right now. So even the card, down to the paintbrushes, down to the pencils, down to the paint, is all from b and &M. I need to go to b again at some point very soon because I want to get some stocking fillers for the girls. Um... So, Mary, well, we'll do this Christmas first. Mary, Mary, Chris. So, my writing is awful, but we've got Christmas at the bottom. My oh, Lord, let me just put my arm in it. Maisie, you're making a mess. Oh, wow, thank you so much. Oh, it should always be on this when it comes to paint because Maisie always puts her hand in it. But she loves it so much. I'm so happy she loves like arts and crafts and that because Jane's mum likes that arts and crafts as well. I just feel like it'd be such a good thing for them two to do when Maisie's like older and whatnot. I've got to try and write on this, but I don't know how. Oh. oh, you're so cute. Can mummy have a kiss?
Oh, thank you. Oh, there you go. Love you. Oh. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Does anyone else absolutely love the music from the holiday? It always gives me like goosebumps, it makes me feel really Christmassy. Like it's the 1st of December today and we have had snow. It's the real field minus three out there at the minute. I've obviously got my Christmas tree. I've got a sleeping baby. It's just, it's just insane. But yeah, now I'm just watching the holiday at the minute. I just feel like it's such a Christmassy. It's a Christmas film that's just one of the best ones to ever watch. <sighs> I can't wait for Jamie to get home tonight because I might stop watching this and make him watch it with me tonight. But I'm also like, I've got to watch it. But now I want another cup of tea. I want bickies. I haven't even had breakfast yet. I'm so hungry always hungry <laughs> okay i'm really sorry this video has not come out on the first of december um i yeah it's been a bit hectic over the last kind of few hours like 24 hours so yes this is going to conclude vlogmas day one i'm out today with the girls hopefully i can start getting back on track with footage and I will see you guys in the next one. Speak to you soon. Love you.